Okay, so for the social media part, um, well, first we had to look at what is the most used social media. Um, as you can see in this diagram right here, uh, Facebook tops the social media with 86% uh, share. Um, next to that comes Instagram, uh, and then Twitter and Snapchat follow closely with nearly 50% of users having those apps as well. Um, we chose Instagram, but why we chose Instagram is because of the following. Uh, we had three target groups in mind before we chose our target groups, which were uh, children, students, and adults. Children uh, usually only color for fun and uh, are mostly influenced by color and are fast thinkers. Students need pencils because uh, they need it for schoolwork or um, for instance, uh, to make an assignment or anything, uh, so they require pencils. And adults usually use pencils for work or for their own use, but it's, uh, it's a less bigger use. So uh, we went with the target group students, uh, especially the target group 15 to 23, 24 age. Um, so the approach we took, um, well, uh, you can't see it right here, very clearly I think, but most of the users of uh, social media uh, in the target group students uh, have Instagram, more than Facebook actually. So that's why we went with an uh, Instagram account, which is called at Drawing and Writing, uh, which is our business. The name was available, so that worked out pretty uh, pretty well. Um, well, the target group that we use, uh, students usually have a funny taste in uh, pictures and follow those meme accounts. Meme accounts are basically uh, accounts which specialize in funny pictures and just a quick laughter. Uh, and that's the approach we took. Uh, as you can see right here, we have two examples. Uh, we made a little, some kind of uh, campaign which is called Quit Smoking, Start Drawing, where we start uh, lighting pencils and uh, just took a funny approach on uh, <coughs> actually a serious matter because smoking is unhealthy, but also um, yeah, having a funny approach will uh, um, speak to the students. Um, and as you can see right here, we also did a fun fact thing, which uh, <coughs> looks very professional, but it's still a funny joke. Um, so what were those results of the social media campaign? Well, uh, we started in week six, and in week <coughs> seven, uh, we already gained thir uh, 113 followers. Uh, we also had a lot of engagement. We got tw uh, 222 likes and 24 comments uh, on eight posts we did in <coughs> that week. Um, that averages to around three comments per uh, post, which is uh, actually a really good return. Um, our profile was visited 273 times, and uh, we also, because Instagram has a really cool feature where you can see who clicks on your, uh, your link in your profile. See, this is our profile, this is what you see. And uh, if you click right here, you will be right, redirected to our uh, website. And in the insights right here, you can see um, the insights of who clicked on your website. And we were able to see that 17 people of those 273 people uh, actually clicked on our website, which doesn't seem like much, but uh, most of the users are just casual Instagrammers and uh, to generate 17 clicks out of that is pretty beneficial. Um, so now I'm just gonna jump right into the recommendations, which is uh, my second part of the presentation that I needed to do. Uh, so, uh, the use of social media. When we launched our, um, our Instagram account, uh, we were able to see a big bump in traffic. As you can see right here, um, we started it on Friday or Thursday, I think and uh, we had a big bump in traffic on our website. Uh, then we stopped using it for a day, uh, which you can see right here, it dropped down to zero. 
but gradually in the week uh, after that we uh, started posting again and you can see that it rises again uh, till the 19th uh, where it drops down because we didn't uh, post anything. Um, how can we improve our website? Uh, well, the addition of a live chat feature for customers uh, to ask questions or to um, yeah, just ask anything about the products or the pencils or the service that we have uh, would be a nice addition, uh, especially in the German market where uh, customers usually tend to be a little bit more skeptic and want some more details on the products they buy. Uh, second to that, uh, the design is also a bit old fashioned and should be a bit more modernized. Uh, that's at least what we heard in feedback and we agree on that. Uh, because it looks a little bit old. Uh, for the third point, we could also implement the use of Google AdWords or Google Ads. Um, and we might see an increase in purchasing. Uh, also, the use of uh, customer uh, uh, CMR systems. CMR systems um, in which the data of our customers will be saved and this can be used to uh, do the after sales and um, possibly return, uh, uh, help to re get returning customers to our, um, <coughs> to our website. And uh, we estimated a um, budget of around 5,000 euros for that, uh, which is pretty cheap in my opinion. Uh, so we were planning on uh, spending around 1,500 euros on uh, Instagram or other social media platforms <coughs> which we haven't uh, pioneered yet. Um, and especially focus on the, uh, the promotional part of things because you can also use promotion services for your accounts. Uh, second to that, we will also uh, use 1,500 euros for our website design. Just hire a professional designer which can uh, make our website more appealing and more modernized. Uh, then we estimated around 1,000 euros for uh, purchasing AdWords and the use of that. <coughs> and then we will also use uh, 1,000 euros for our CRM systems to maintain our customers after sales. Well, this was my presentation and I hope you learned something about drawing and writing. <laughs>